All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year to everybody. If you're new about here, thanks for joining. Um, today, I'm out at Loch Venica. It's a wee loch near Calendar in Scotland. Um, it's not too far from the roadside. It's quite an easy camp, just to ease me back into 2024. I brought a hammock and a tent out with me today. But I think I'm going to try the hammock, the one one 11 foot hammock. Somebody gave me a summer underquilt for it, so I'm going to try that out. Temperature's meant to get down to maybe four degrees tonight, so I think I should be fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try, find a space in amongst this damn woodland, get a hammock up. All else fails, I've got a backup, I've got an OEX Bobcat tent in my car, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right guys, here's a setup. DD 4x4 tarp, one wind 11 foot hammock, with a one wind underquilt. Just quick and easy, it's raining, bungees, and uh, straps to the trees, easy. I'm going to tidy this up a bit. Um, it's meant to be raining off and off all night. Inside, I say we've got an underquilt, I don't know how well you can see. Inside the hammock, I've got my bivy bag and my Silliva minus nine spirit sleeping bag, my wee Van Gogh pillow. And yeah, I've got a bug net at the end, which I will pull over later on. But yeah, it's quite sn snug in here. So, time to chill out, get a brew. As usual, something's went wrong. I broke the clip off my Bluetooth microphone. That's not really thing that's went wrong. Um, I forgot my metal mug. If you watch my videos, you know I love this metal mug. Um, I don't even know where my stove is. So I'm gonna improvise. I'll get back to you in a minute and show you what I'm doing. Right guys, I don't know if you can see that, but that's four tent pegs, a bit of tin foil, and uh, some hexamine blocks in it. So I'm going to attempt to cut a Pringles tube, fill it with water, and heat it using this. I probably got my stove, my cup in my car maybe, but yeah, I'm just messing about. I want to see how this works. Right, so first of all, knife, Pringles tube, the rain is starting to come down here, so yeah. Oh, I don't mess this up. So if I really haven't got my stove, I'm knackered. Very <laughs> good. But then I've got my cup. Let's get some water on it. This is probably going to be a disaster, but here goes. It'll probably take ages to boil this water. Here we go, got my boiled water in the Pringles cup. <laughs> Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully it'll balance and get it to balance, that'll be half the battle. I think it's balanced. I like these 10 year old hexamine blocks. This probably could go disastrously wrong, but yeah. We'll put a wee windshield up around it since it is starting to rain. We'll see if this boils the water. I'll try and put a lid on it. There you go guys, just about at boiling now. Time to have a cup of tea from a Pringles tube. Right, I'll need to be extremely careful, extremely careful taking this off, so it's going to be roasting. So, I always bring a fire glove with me. Yeah. <sighs> 
Actually, outside it, it's not that bad. I can actually hold that. That's quite good. Doesn't look to be anything inside it, so yeah. So I only did a cup of tea. It just went miserable today. Put the tea bag in there. Get some sugar. See, just as I'm looking at the camera, guys, I've just noticed something that's fell out of my bag. I forgot. Somebody gave me this new stove. Oh well, it was interesting trying the Pringle thing out. So there you go, if you're ever stuck without a cup or somewhere to heat it, Pringles tube, four tent pegs, some fuel, and you're good to go. This is why I love wild camping. The silence. Only thing I'm hearing right now is just like drips. It's still drizzling a little bit with rain. Don't even hear any birds just now. Just sitting here on a wee stone, which is haunting my arse by the way. Um, <laughs> looking out over the lock. The lock is very still and serene. I'll spin the camera around in a wee minute, but yeah. Away for everything, away for all the troubles. Yeah, so I'm going to make dinner soon. Dinner. <laughs> dinner is going to be a monstrosity. But yeah, I'm a weird eater. Afterwards, campfire. I said I'm with a couple of the boys. Was meant to be doing a solo camp, but yeah, sometimes I get anxious. Um, I don't know why I've done lots of solo camps before, but yeah, I just wasn't in the right, in the right frame of mind to do a solo camp. So I heard a couple of the boys were doing a camp up here. And I sort of tagged along with them. So, yeah. Join them at campfire, get my dinner on. Um, just took a walk back to the car. <laughs> I've got all my stuff. I threw everything in the car because I knew it wasn't going to be too far from uh, the car park. So, yeah, I do have my my fire maple stove. I do have my bush box. Um, yeah, I was just talking crap. But it was good to try it, the wee Pringle tin and um, just a couple of tent pegs. If you're ever stuck, if you're ever stuck in a sort of emergency situation, um, yeah, you just need to improvise, improvise, adapt and overcome. Um, I'm just going to sit here for five minutes. I'll bring these back when I'm cooking. <laughs> and it's no pot noodle, it's no pot noodle tonight. Hey right, guys, I'll bring you back. <laughs> right, time, right, time to get a fire started guys. I always try to use a fire and flint, but yeah, it's taking too long. It's cold, I'm getting wet. Got a wee bit of straw, a bit of tinder under here. Back in, bring in some big logs. There you go, quick and easy. Hey guys, just going back to the the hammock for the food choices. What have we go for tonight? Mylar bag with some spaghetti bolognese and chopped up potato scone. Or we can go for the usual Bombay bad boy. I don't think we're going to go for that. I do have some homemade beef burgers in here, so get some rolls, get some cheese, and we're going to go for some burgers tonight. Obviously, this is for later on, but yeah, homemade burgers over the fire. Yeah, let's get it on. Let's go guys, lovely steak, mushrooms, not for me, because I'm a weirdo, but yeah, the other guys are having that. 
actually looks really good. So this is what the guys are having for dinner. We've got steak, mashed potato, peas, carrots, all very posh for me. <laughs> and we have a peppercorn sauce. I'm having good old burgers. <laughs> hey guys, time to get my poor man's dinner on a couple of burgers. They're eating like kings. I mean a couple of burgers. That's what I like. So, put a pan over the fire, get a bit of butter in there. Shake about. These homemade burgers have been in my the homemade burgers have been in my freezer for about seven months, so hopefully they're going to be all right. I'm sure they will. If no, the dog can eat them. Let's get a wee close up of that. So the camera works a bit shaky. It'll be fine. As I said, a few minutes. They're already pre-cooked burgers, so it should be fine. Hey right, guys, here you go. That's the burgers done. Two for me. I'm keeping one for the wee dog eats with me. He'll get our burger in a minute. Cheese slices. I've got some tomato sauce, it's a year out of date. I don't know if that's going to be any good, but hey, you're camping, you'll eat anything, so we'll get a shot. Two seconds to get that tomato sauce. Which I've lost. So yeah, it's just the burgers, unless I find the tomato sauce. Bon appetit, guys. All right, guys. I am currently, um, I've currently just walked three miles, three miles to Calendar. One of the boys I'm with uh, never brought enough beers with him, so <laughs> it's like seven o'clock at night. We decided we need some beers. Checked on his phone. Nearest place was. Three miles to calendar, so yeah. It says 59, 59 minutes in Google to walk there. We've done it in about 35, 35 is it? 35, 35 minutes, so yeah. <sighs> Knackered. We're just heading back now, probably about another maybe about 40 minutes back, so yeah. The things you do for beer. <laughs> right guys, you probably can't see me just now, but yep, yeah, okay, see he's back at the campsite, fully loaded with beer and probably blown out my arse. <laughs> Bye for now. Right guys, I said two hours for us to get from Loch Venneker to Calendar. We made it in one hour and a half, but I am absolutely shattered. So it's time for the book fast, well and truly deserved. Uh, <laughs> it's about six miles, so yeah. Fairly flat course, a wee hill or two, but yeah. I had drink, but it's one of the boys. He never bought any drink, stupidly. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was a good wee hike. Dusted off the cobwebs, so just sitting by the fire now, gotta drink my buck fast, get the music on and relax. Um, probably gonna do a wee cheese toaster later, so I'll show you my grilling up that.
Good morning, guys. That was a very comfy sleep last night uh, in a one wind hammock. So I've slept in a hammock once or twice before, but yeah, really comfy sleep. They were all saying you're mad sleeping in a hammock tonight. I think the temperature probably got down to about three degrees or something last night, but it was like torrential rain. Torrential rain about three, four o'clock this morning. Um, yeah, I've had a comfy sleep, so thank you, Colin, Outdoor Gear Essentials for the hammock. Um, also, thanks to Karen. Karen's gone wild. Um, checked her channel out. She sent me an underquilt, so thank you very much. Definitely made a difference um, with the 1-1 underquilt. So, yeah, comfy sleep. It was just a shame, the usual. Woke up at 6 o'clock this morning, busting for a pee. So, yeah, had to go to Hammock to go for a pee, and it's basically a year awake since then. But, yeah, even though it's wet, miserable, it's still good to be out. Time to start packing up, back to normal life again. Hey right, guys, catch you in the next one. As usual guys, leave no trace. That's where I was last night. Between that tree and this tree.